Buenos dias, que pasó amigos, John's Moto Grudge, welcome to the channel. I'm running late, so I'm going to jump on the bike and I'll explain what the heck is going on. If you haven't already, like, subscribe if you dig the content. Today we're talking Sportster Iron 883. Welcome to the channel. I'm in a bit of a rush, so let's hit the road and I'll explain what is going on. Say adios to the Dyna, don't ask, it's in the truck again, I'll explain in another video. So as you guys can see, we're sitting on the Harley Iron 883. This is a 2013. And of course, this is part of the Sportster line. They've had these for a while, since 57, if I'm not mistaken. One of the most iconic Harleys out there, and perhaps one of the most controversial Harleys as well. You've got those who completely hate these things and label them, quote unquote, a girl's bike. And then those who, in my opinion, are a little bit more open-minded who say, heck yeah, man, the Sporty definitely has a place in the motorcycle world. And that's definitely the group that I fall into. In my opinion, a moto is not what makes or breaks who a person is. So today we're talking Sportster 883 and I'm going to take a little different a little different uh, route on this one because it's like beating a dead horse. So many people have talked about the Sporty. I mean, reviews on these guys are a freaking dime a dozen, am I right? So today I'm putting the bike through the paces. I've got to run into work, run into the office. I figured, what the heck, what better way to put this sucker to the test? We're going to take it and use it to commute to work. It's about a 30 minute drive. We're gonna hit traffic. I'm not in Cali, so I'm not gonna be doing any awesome lane splitting. However, I will be hoping to take this thing in the HOV carpool lane, see if we can save ourselves some time. Big bonus about riding a motorcycle. And let's see if we can tap a little bit into the soul of the Sporty. What's this thing all about? Why do people love it? Why do people hate it? What makes this thing a great bike? And why might this be the right bike for you versus maybe not the right bike for you? Of course, we'll start out with some of the basics, man. Los Basicos, right? This one here is a 2013 Sportster Iron 883. Personally, the Iron 883 is, one, in my opinion, one of the dopest, raddest, most coolest looking Sportsters just overall. I'm a huge fan of the 72 for that classic look, but the 883 always takes my heart with the bare bones, just bad boy looking motorcycle. It's all blacked out. Straight from the factory, it's a cool looking bike and Harley does an awesome job with that. In my opinion, one of the best jobs with making a bike look cool, straight from the get go. The 883 is equipped with a five speed tranny, it's belt drive. And I love that this thing has mid controls. I'm only 5'8", I'm not super tall. For a bigger guy, it's gonna be uncomfortable. This bike in general is just not really built for the awesome. Now, the Sporties get a bad rap because they are, for the longest time, these were the smallest Harleys you could get. You can get the 12 Hondo, which is a big difference as well. But today we're talking the 883. And I even did a video where I said, yeah, these aren't the best for jumping on the freeway. And I'm not saying that it can't be done and that's not a good bike, but that's coming from riding a lot of big V-twin cruisers that are obviously more built for those higher freeway speeds. Don't be fooled, tons and tons of people rock these things cross country so it's not to say it can't be done again it's just saying it's not really built for it but today we're going to put it to the test we're taking this thing on the freeway hopefully it's not gridlock stop and go i'd like to get this thing up to highway speeds see what she's made of you know what i mean come on you guys you can do it you can do it oh man i, I swear that guy waited the light was green, man. The light was green. So as you can see right off the bat, man, the Batman, one of the awesome things about the Sporty is they are lightweight. They feel flickable in a sense. They're easy to throw around. It's not super heavy. You sit nice and low to the ground. I love the mid control position. It's not an aggressive stance. You're not reached way over the bars but you feel in control of the bike. That's one of my things with the mid controls. It catches, it gets up to freeway speeds with ease. Compared to a car, this is gonna feel like a fast bike, especially when you first get on it if you're not used to cruisers. So it's all relative. Obviously, if you're on a sport bike, this ain't gonna be the one for you. But check it out, I'm cruising 55, 60 miles per hour. Thing isn't sweating it. Now, there's not a lot of wind right now, so I'm not really feeling that. I'm sure if I were to get up to 75, 80, then it's gonna be like I'm fighting it a little bit, more of a battle, but where we sit right now, totally digging it. And so I kind of stand corrected in a sense. I would have to say, as a commuter moto, I think this would be perfect. And actually my buddy Yuan, who's 
gonna take the bike off my hands. That's all he's looking for. He wants something he can use to cruise around town. Not gonna be doing super long rides. He wants something that looks cool, that's comfortable, and this fits the bill when it comes to that. So some of the things people really harp on with the 883 is that it's kind of a gutless motorcycle. But check out check out Connor FX TV. Dude's got dope content and he has a Harley Sportster walk around. Check out his bike and the exhaust he put on it and the setup he did with that. I think it's super dope. That's one of the reasons I love these. They're an awesome canvas. There are parts galore, aftermarket accessories. So you can basically build these up to be whatever you want them to be or just leave them stock. And either way, you've got a cool looking motorcycle. Is it a chick's bike? Hex yeah, it's a chick's bike. Is it a dude's bike? Hex yeah, it can be a dude's bike as well. This bike will be whatever you need it to be. One of the big bonuses with the sporties that we've touched on in other videos is they're relatively inexpensive compared to other Harleys out there. And the crazy thing is, I'm starting to see these Iron 883s in the four to five K range. And you're gonna be buying Honda Shadows in that price range for comparable years. In fact, you know, a 2013 Honda Shadow Phantom, for example, versus a 2013 Harley Iron 883, I would opt for the Harley all day, any day. Nothing against the Shadow, I actually really dig those bikes as well. But overall look, appearance, ride, and just fun factor, I would go with the Sportster. And if you're patient and you shop around, you can definitely find them uh, sometimes cheaper than what I see those Shadows listed at. I'm not gonna tell you how much I bought this for. Uh, you want know, so maybe he'll disclose it, but it was a heck of a deal. And I considered keeping it for Jackie, but for uh, reasons we'll discuss someday in the future, I'm not gonna be not gonna be putting Jackie on this bike today. Oh, that looks dangerous. Let's see how the So my complaints with the 883, and they're not really complaints, they're more just observations to know. You will know, obviously compared to the 12 Hundo, you don't have that, that uh, extra little torque and power that you'd like, especially when it comes to passing. The 12 Hundo is a lot more responsive. You get on it and you feel it, it kind of pushes you back. A lot of people will know that with only the five speeds, you feel like you're kind of, you know, tapping it out at those higher RPMs in fifth gear and right now we're cruising almost 80 miles per hour and I can definitely feel the vibration skin a little bit uh, more noticeable for sure at this 20 30 minute ride I'm still comfortable I'm pulling it off my old man back that I destroyed trying to front flip over the 72 it's still holding up just fine but it will feel slightly cramped especially if you're a taller dude and you're used to forward control you'll jump on this thing and it'll feel like you're like sitting on a squat or squatting down or something crazy like that. So is this the ultimate cruiser motorcycle? Is it the ultimate commuter motorcycle? It's not the ultimate, but it's definitely a good alternative or it's definitely a good option. And like all motos, if this is what you dig, whether it be because Harley sold you on it with their marketing or because you've ridden one and you love it or because you personally just absolutely think it's a cool looking motorcycle, then I'd say jump on, take it for a spin and if you like it, go with it. Because frankly, who cares what anybody else thinks at this point. And you can always work your way up. Harley actually, if I'm not mistaken, is doing a trade-in deal where if you buy, I think it's like a 2016 and newer Sportster, you mob it around for a year, and then they will give you what you paid for it towards a trade-in a year later. So you can go into it knowing that you'll be able to upgrade it. That's what you decide to do. things about the sportsters man if you can't tell i'm just having such a blast on this thing such a fun bike this is my concluding thoughts coming off the freeway would this be a good commuter bike 
I'd say definitely a good option, especially if you have a short commute. And you know, in that case, what were we on the freeway? Maybe 10 minutes? Not bad at all. 10 minute cruise on the freeway, this thing handled great, 80 plus miles per hour. I was able to pull it off. Does it stack up against the Dyna? Does it stack up against the Street Glide, the Road Glide, the CVO, all those things? No, it doesn't. It's not built to be one of those bikes though. It's built to be a sporty, a good entry level middleweight cruiser, one you can jump on and have a blast on. Whether you're a newbie or somebody who's ridden all kinds of motorcycles, you jump on and you can have a blast on it. So that's what the sport is built for, man. Having fun, looking cool. Now, always keep in mind, you guys, I'm no expert when it comes to motos. I always like to emphasize that this is a Joe Schmo here. This is my impressions and my thoughts based on the experience I have to draw from having ridden lots of different bikes, but this is by no means an end all say all on the Sporty 883. The idea of this along with I think all review videos is getting another perspective on the bike. One that you can use as a reference or a source when coming up with your own conclusions about what bike may be the best one for you. And so I totally understand some people hate sporties and will never want to do them. Some people have had the worst experiences ever. And conversely, you've got people who are just diehard Sportster fans. And then you got everything in between. I'm not telling you which one to be. Uh, more than anything, I'm telling you what I am. And if you were to ask me, would I recommend that somebody mob around on a Sportster and try it out? I'd say, heck yeah, bro. Give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen, right? I mean, really, what's the worst that can happen? Just kidding, I don't want to hear any answers to that because I'm sure some bad stuff has happened. Alright, that's going to do it. John's Moto Garage signing off. As always, much appreciated the support. And if you dig the content, you can show your support through the likes and the subscribes and sharing it and all that awesome stuff. I think that'll do it. We'll hit you guys up on the, on the next one. Los famos hasta luego. All right, you guys, it's right at the 20 minute mark that my back starts to say, okay, bro, so something's going on here, man. Something's going on. I would imagine that at like the 40 minute to an hour mark, my back would start to yell at me, dude, what the heck's dog? What is happening here? But no, for these short rides, it's no thing but a chicken wing. I think that's the old adage my grandpa used to say. It ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Los famos. Dang it, you on. Why am I even selling this bike to you, man? Why do I do it? I should totally hang on to this thing.